Um, hi, I'm Kelvin. So um, today I'm going to talk about uh, Magento 2 Enterprise uh, making developer lives easier and clients happier. So um, yep, uh, basically I run the tech team for the Singapore office of a Hong Kong firm uh, called ClearGo. And I'm a Magento certified developer and a certified solution specialist. But I'm sure you guys know the exam is actually quite easy. So yeah, it's MCQ, so <coughs> yeah. OK, so um, ClearGo is an e-commerce brand agency. We don't just build e-commerce sites. We create more of like omni-channel e-commerce uh, ecosystems, uh, strategy design, consultancy. And from our uh, Shanghai office, we actually do order fulfillment as well for certain companies which are bringing goods into China. So basically, we stock the goods there. We do the sh uh, pack, pick and pack, and we do the shipping as well for the China market. And we also do managed services like um, performance-based marketing, marketing automation with Salesforce Marketing Cloud. We're also a Salesforce Marketing Cloud partner. So yeah, stuff like that, okay? And um, we do a lot of EE projects. Basically, um, my big boss says that we should take more enterprise projects. He doesn't like community projects. I don't know why, but um, well, yeah. So that's, that's what we were told. And we link a lot of systems together. Basically, we link POS system, we link ERP systems, we link warehouse management systems, loyalty program systems. You know those like at the shop, they have a little kiosk and you tap the card or something like that. Yeah, or maybe the, the staff will key in your membership ID and stuff like that, and then you get points or whatever. Yeah. So we also link a lot of custom-made in-house systems. Like recently, we have this client who wants to link some custom-made system in Malaysia, which was which the developer basically doesn't reply emails. So you got to like um, f kind of figure out how the system works based on well, they give us server access. So it's quite hard to figure that stuff out. So and um, as you guys probably know, like um, I think most of you guys are developers, right? A any clients here? Like end users, clients? Ah, hi. Oh no, I have a slide about that. Okay, it's okay. But um, the more stuff you link, the more stuff you break. Okay, so it's not really good for both the developer and the end users because when you integrate a lot of different systems together, a lot of things screws up. For example, in a typical, so called typical setup, you have Magento, you have a warehouse management system. And then you also have like a logistic provider. For example, it can be, um, for Singapore, it's quite common nowadays that people do like Ninja Van. Or, or Zealand, previously Rocket Uncle. So the more stuff you link together, right, the more often things break. OK. So um, well, then in comes Magento 2 Enterprise. OK. So um, well, actually, we ripped, it, ripped this off from the Magento slides. But um, essentially, what's different is that they have quite a bit of new features. Like for shopping experience, uh, they have some personalized content. Like they have abandoned cart emails and stuff like that. <coughs> For um, okay, things like layered navigation and search, oh, this kind of stuff can be like done uh, through extensions or in, in mostly in the front end, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay, out of the box responsive design as well. You can do it in the front end, so it doesn't matter. You don't have to pay for EE just for that. Okay, um, for uh, actually finally Magento Two has this one step checkout thing, which I think everybody just paid thirty dollars and buy an extension for. So. Yeah, I, I wouldn't pay twenty two thousand for that. So, um, okay, they have uh, improved merchandising, advanced content management. Okay, improved merchandising is quite cool because they have this visual merchandiser. You know, clients they don't exactly like to like um. You ask them to reorder the products and stuff like that. It's very tricky for them to play with the order numbers and stuff. So they have this visual merchandiser as well. And there's advanced content management system. Basically, it does allow like uh, different revisions and you get staging and production as well for enterprise. Okay. And uh, for loyalty-wise, they have like reward points, in-store credits, gift registry, and cards, wish list, and stuff. Okay, the interesting thing is that reward point system, the enterprise edition reward points, is actually, is actually quite stable. Because if you look at um, normally for reward points, you use a third-party extension. A lot of customers they use the Sweet Tooth, extension, but it's really expensive. They charge per year. Yeah, it's like I think a few hundred, almost five, six hundred a year or something, right? It's really expensive. Yeah. So and and sometimes it has conflicts with other modules as well. So that's a bit strange. Yeah, so the, a lot, nowadays a lot of customers that do this thing called private sales as well. Like certain user groups, they also have like private sales which runs from say today till three more days time or something like that. Yeah. Okay, so um, wait, but extensions can do all this. Yeah, pretty much. Most of the functions can be done by extensions. But as I mentioned just now, a lot of things start to break once you actually integrate different extensions. Okay, so that's where EE comes in. Okay, besides those features, they also have like some deployment and uh, performance and scalability features. For deployment-wise, um, well, once again, this is from the official Magento slide, so we just copied it. But to, to be honest, deployment-wise, the process is almost similar. Okay, the cool thing is that the enterprise one it updates a lot more easily. Okay, in uh, uh, than the community one. But now for Magento 2, you have the composer and stuff like that. So it's just running a command. So that's quite similar now. Performance and scalability wise is quite interesting because for enterprise nowadays they support this thing called multi database support. So you can put like up to, I think up to three databases plus master and slave database. So you can do database clustering as well. So well, um, 
and also as the previous speak, the first speaker mentioned, right? Uh, first presenter mentioned, there's also things like uh, what's that called? Now there's eh, I can't remember suddenly. Okay, but never mind. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. So uh, basically, it scales a lot faster. Oh yeah, the PHP portion as well. Yeah, it scales a lot faster, and um, there's large business. Well, they say it's large business support, but I think it's pretty standard for everyone. So um, yeah, as mentioned just now, there's quite a few business productivity tools and well and stuff. Personally, Magento support. We've never really contacted them. So. Yeah, no one contacts them, even though you pay them fee. Yeah, and, and they probably take like three days to reply or some shit. So, they yeah. never reply. <laughs> they never reply. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, so anyway, um, this is how we sell EE to our clients. Um, well, the staging and preview environments. A lot of our clients, they 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 need preview because when you tell them that you're gonna make a change, they can't visualize it. So you need to see it somehow. Even though it's maybe changing a little bit of stuff, moving the order, changing the product description and stuff, they need a little bit of preview. Okay, and then there's um, improved search. It integrates with uh, Apache Solar Search by default. And there's quite a bit of stuff. Uh, well, Ap Apache Solar Search, you can index your store and index content pages and stuff. Yeah. So um, well, it's much better than Magento 1 CMS, which is honestly kind of broken. You know, the HTML code it generates is really nonsense. Yeah, but um, <laughs> there's a lot of new promotion types as well. And there's this really cool thing called customer segments. Okay, basically, like, I think all of you are familiar with customer groups. You can just drop a customer into a certain group, group A, drop, drop a customer into group B. But for uh, maybe like VIP member or Go member or something like that. But it has to be a very manual process. With customer segmentation, what it actually does is it dynamically group customers. You can make it such that every single, uh, this will apply to every single time the customer visits or interacts or something. You can calculate his total uh, base, like maybe put in a Go member based on his total spend within the past one month equals to $100 and above or something like that. So you can do quite a bit of dynamic segmentation with Enterprise Edition. Yeah. Okay, so, um, well, our clients love very pretty graphics, so the next few slides we have some very nice charts. Okay, I think this was the chart that uh, the first speaker tried to, exp uh, tried to show. Uh, is it the same? I think it's the same, right? It was the same chart. Yeah, it was the same chart. Yeah, okay, so, um, well, it's a, basically, he it says it's faster, but you know, it's a nice chart. So, okay, the next part was basically the PHP 7. I think it was his question just now. So, um, well, this, this was the official um, thing. It's kind of out of the box. I think they use one single instance for out of the box. But I think you can, you, you, uh, with Enterprise, you can out of the box, you can configure HA as well. You can spawn two instances and configure HA. Yeah. Okay. So um, for developers, why EE? Okay, faster time to market, easier customization, and easier maintenance. So what this actually means is, um, well, more time to take on new projects and get paid faster. Less extensions to buy, less issues to troubleshoot. And always remember, right? Um, yeah. You know, customers, if features break, right, they're going to they're gonna, like hound you constantly. So it's slightly less of a pain. So yeah. And OK, yeah. So um, well, new technologies in Magento 2. OK, so essentially now they have, um, it's officially supported with JMeter. So you can do a load testing, uh, stress testing, load testing, and all kinds of stuff. So I think you, any of you guys familiar with J JMeter? Yeah, OK. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's quite cool. You can simulate users and stuff. You can simulate users performing certain actions. You can monitor the performance. OK, there's RabbitMQ. I haven't really played with it yet, but uh, RabbitMQ is uh, supposedly the queue the instructions for, for larger user support, uh, larger user count concurrent support. Yeah. And also, like, um, there's this uh, new JavaScript framework called uh, Knockout. So it kind of support, uh, separates the model, the views and MVVM, model, view, and view models. Yeah, correct. So they do a lot of HTML5 data bindings as well. So data is more consistent when retrieved. Yeah. And uh, Composer also, basically, is the command line tool. I think when the first time you open up Magento manual, they say install Composer. Then I'm like, what on earth is Composer? Yeah. No, actually, I know what's Composer, la, but some of the guys in the office don't know. But yeah. So <laughs> and um, there's also like a Vanish cache proxy. So it's uh, caching is now officially supported. And now Nginx is also officially supported. So Nginx is quite cool. It's, it's like mini Apache. So but it, it does a lot of stuff. You can easily configure load balance setups as well with Nginx. Uh, Apache load balancing stuff is quite painful because of sticky sessions and stuff. So yeah, um, PHP unit uh, actually Magento 2 actually comes with a lot of unit test scripts as well. So it's there. And now MySQL cluster they allow like um, database scalability and multi databases. So like up, I think up to three plus master slave. So it's up to six or something like that. Yeah. Okay. So um, Magento 2 was kind of based on a modern platform architecture. So Magento was quite horrible to work with at some some points of time. Not all. 
well, it, it make all of us in this room get paid because of Magento, so it was horrible to work with sometimes, but yeah. Okay, and the code was a, a little bit messy because like um, a lot of times we, we can't find the proper hooks to actually hook the functions. But Magento 2 is a lot easier. There are a lot more places to do that, yeah, as long as everything works. And um, now the code base is a lot more modular. There's a lot of APIs to call. It's kind of stable now, but the documentation is still not fully complete. There are a lot of things missing. You can't find certain APIs. You have to look through the code instead. So, um, and now you can do this really cool thing called inheritance with any base team. Previously, you can only inherit from the default team. Now you can inherit with any other team. So you can overwrite certain portions. Okay. So um, one big thing about enterprise edition is actually the um, so-called easy PCI compliance. This is actually a big point for a lot of customers. Okay. Basically, in Magento 1, they practice uh, secure payment, PCI secure payment breach. Okay, so essentially it's a whole module which is kind of uh, PCI audited already. And so your clients don't have to go through compliance because their whole module is, is kind of certified compliant. So they can integrate like on-site payment, uh, such as the user don't leave the site. Within your site, they enter the credit card number and be PCI compliant. So Magento 2 is also the same thing, just that they have more support for different gateways as well. Okay, so um, how to migrate to Magento 2? Long story short, um, get new extensions, run the migration tool. Yeah, so pretty much how to move to Magento 2 from Magento 1. Uh, okay, and well, this is actually my last slide. I didn't prepare a too long a presentation, but um, is it really worth the price tag? Okay, the difference is that Magento 2 starts at uh, 22,000 US, whereas Magento 1 starts at 18,000 US previously. As of first gen, you can only buy two. I think it's a, is it first gen? I think it should be first gen. Yeah, you can only buy Magento 2. Okay, and the thing is that Magento 2 is actually tied to revenue. Okay, so it might seem more expensive, but what Magento is actually trying to encourage is they're trying to encourage like HA and load balance setup. Because previously, if you buy Magento 1, when you do a setup, right, you actually have to do like, uh, let's say you're going to do 18,000 instead for one, in, uh, two instance, one development and one production instance. However, if you want to do a load balance setup, you're going to buy two licenses, which gives you like two development and two production. So it means it will cost you 36,000 US a year for a HA setup. But with Magento 2, you can run as many HA nodes as you want, as many load balance or HA nodes as you want. 22,000 is kind of like a site license in some ways. You can run as many instances as you need, as long as your revenue is below 1 million. But if your revenue is above 1 million for, for the client, it actually goes up significantly more. Yeah, okay. Higher than There's no real ratio. It's, it's a pricing, it's a table based on them. But in April, they're going to change the pricing again. It's going to go up even more. Apparently, it was too cheap. Yeah. So our account manager says that they're going to revise it upwards a little bit more. And yeah. License is tied to domain. No, 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 no tie. Okay. To be honest, licensing, they, they say it's, it's a paper license. It, it, it's like they, it, uh, there's no license key or anything. It's just an, uh, the license you get it tied to your account. So you can do updates, but other than that, it's, it's a paper license. So you can install it as many instances as you like. It's not tied to any domain or any IP address or anything. Any server? Any server, yeah. Um, can I run multiple servers? Yeah, you can. It's, it's not, no limit. So yeah. Multiple can. server, multiple domain. Multiple server, multiple domain, yes. As long as same company. Same yeah, company, same company yes. multiple sites. Correct. Oh. So some companies like um, <laughs> Simpost, for example, they use this to gain quite a bit of revenue, if you guys have heard. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, because everything is registered to SingPost. So... They're not using, I think, Magento 2. Yeah, they, they haven't switched to Magento 2 yet, I think. Uh, I'm not sure so what they're they using. So they're using separate license. Separate license, yeah. <laughs> uh, we've heard a lot of stories from clients, so... But you didn't hear that from me, so... <laughs> okay, so... Um, well, you get a lot of features built by the Magento core team. Most customers want these features, like customers... You know, customers don't really know the name of the features, but they know they want uh, like customer segments. They say, but how come I have to move the customers from one group to another manually? Or I have to, why, why do I need a script or something to do that? So in, actually, in essence, like, certainly like customer segments is actually what the client is talking about, but they don't really know that's the term for it. So, and um, you get a lot of other, other features as well, which, uh, well, basically it's quite relevant to the current e-commerce sites anyway. And of course, the client pays for E shortens the development time, client pays licensing to Magento, and those features are really rock solid and kind of supported. So, well, you get the job done faster, you get paid faster, and well, you can take more stuff, no more projects and all. So, yeah, in short, it makes your life quite much easier. Okay, so thank you. I hope I didn't bore you guys. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yes, questions. I forgot. Okay. Uh, you mentioned the preview environments. Okay. So, for 
for that uh, in the back end you get one button so that whenever you update anything you can preview correct i think if not you get a button so you can uh, not not really preview more like save a copy for staging so the customer you then you get a separate link where you can give the customer yeah so yeah. the customer can see the changes there was one other thing the private sales mm -hmm. the private sales we can have in the community of the previous edition also using the customer group i can have the Custom same yeah, have a customer group. i think the, the, the thing is the private sales and flash sales as well we have the flash sale oh. thing which you can set timing as well okay flash it's open and close timing and require them to be locked in and stuff like that mm -hmm. But I guess that was there in one point nine as well. Sorry, the flash sale feature. Really? Yeah, it was there. I mean, the community edition of one point nine is this also. You need to buy an extension. You need an extension for that. You need to buy extension. So I, I am because I am using it presently. It's like you can set a uh, specific sale sale range for products. Uh, for say, if you want to say start it from right till the next day. I think Flash Sale is a separate website altogether or something like that. I can't remember. I think it shouldn't be inside the community. <laughs> Not in the community. In the com community. I, I'm actually using it. Okay, I'll, I'll go check it out later. <laughs> yeah. okay. Is there any feature for the return and refund? Oh, yeah, yeah, the RMA. I think by default, yes, RMA. It's an enterprise as well. Interactive. Yeah, so there's an RMA process. Yeah, which you can customize quite a bit. You can customize like when to allow RMAs, how many days after purchase, whether staff approval is required for RMA. You know, like some 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 stores policies that regardless of approval, you need to RMA because of the local country laws and things like that. Yeah. For the enterprise upgrade, yeah. uh, their technical team provides supports. Ah, uh, they say they provide support. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get if you want support. So, yeah. Depends on which package you get as well. I think the platinum package, you get phone support or something like that. Otherwise, it's just ticket support. Yeah, but most customers go for the normal go support. They will just get it resolved with us. So we'll figure out how to fix it. So how much additional cost for platinum support? Uh, I have the price list somewhere. I think it's like another 30% 30, 30 more than, than the normal. go support. Normal, normal is go support. Yeah, so I think it's almost 20-30% more if I'm not wrong. I have the price list somewhere. Yeah, but. I think if you, you want to sell EE to your customers, right, you should get in touch with your account manager at Magento. There's, there's a good commission for that as well. <laughs> it's a very good commission, you know, recurring every year. So, yeah. um, question. Yeah. Have you had experience downgrading from an EE to a community yes. edition? Okay, a lot of extensions break. <laughs> That's oh, the first okay. thing. A lot of extensions break. And then uh, sometimes uh, the, it's almost like migrating to a new instance. You mm. can't just downgrade okay. it. You have to set up a second instance and export everything out and re-import everything in. Okay. So it's, it's quite painful. Nice. Yeah, you can't just overwrite the files. Yeah, the database relationships were messed up. Okay. So up upgrading is almost the same. So it's mm. almost like two separate products anyway. So um, okay. it, it's a good sales pitch for the customers. You tell them that you should stay with AE all the way. Don't, don't <laughs> yeah. It's a good sales pitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Buy from day one. Yeah. And you talked about uh, multi database and clustering. So yeah. it is new to only E2 or it's in the community? Also? Official support is that the, they officially support multi database. Previously, in one, you can do clustering yourself, but it's not officially supported. Two, I think they added something to make it official, and you can do the, like, the three databases thing. Some tables go into deep separate databases. Yeah. Splitting I, mean, I haven't tried it. Yeah. Yeah. Ask, uh, I think checkout tables are different, so checkout process is totally in a different yeah, database. Like and that. I think and so the login is in a different database. Okay, okay, I think it's something like that. I haven't tried it. Yeah. Nice. More questions? Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.